Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, this one right here today is dealing with you guys no other than a paper route artist. Who am I talking about? Snoop Benz and Paper Route Woo. And why am I having this conversation with you guys today? Because this is based on the disagreement that Snoop Benz and Paper Route Woo has with CEO Daddy O pertaining to a CMG PRE All City Tour. You feel me? I'm going to let y'all know the reason why they disagree. You understand? Let's get to the story. So yeah, the new boys in the hood, boys in Dolph Hood, Snoop Benz and Paper Route Woo just dropped a mixtape titled Super Bros. The tape straight gas, y'all. I'm talking about fire. Got heat on there, for real. Y'all already know Snoop Band's going to bring the heat with his guy, Paper Route Woo. You understand? They're a good tandem. They always go for, you know what I'm saying, a two-piece combo. They already have videos for three of the songs off the mixtape, which are damn fool, loyal, and straight like that. All right? So, again, while y'all at it, go ahead and download the new mixtape from Paper Route Woo. It's Snoop Band's titled... Super Bros, you feel me? Again, got bangers on there. Alright, so let's get to it. Y'all see the thumbnail? Y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Snoop Benz and Paper Route Woo does not agree with CEO Daddy Yo to do an all CD tour with Yo Gotti CMG. Now, if y'all not familiar with what's going on, CEO Daddy Yo has been in conversations with Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juk to settle their PRE and CMG differences that has been going on for every last bit of 10 years, all right? And the beef basically went up another notch following Young Dolph's untimely demise in Makita's Monster Cookies when Black Youngster decided to dish Young Dolph based on Dolph being sent up getting cookies either for him, the turkey drive, or for his mom. But anyway, a lot of people did not agree with Black Youngster going at Young Dolph following his untimely demise. A lot of people felt that was very distasteful, especially in Memphis. Now, nobody knows the real reason Dolph pulled up to Makita's on the day of November the 17th, 2021. Back to the story. Pepper Rock Wu and Snoop Bands disagrees with CEO Daddy Yo idea to do an all CD tour that would include Pepper Rock, Yo Gotti CMG, and Gucci Man. New 1017 So Icy. Yeah, you heard me. This will also include. Gucci Man, new 1017, so icy. The reason being, y'all know why. Because he got some artists on his squad that's from Memphis. You understand? So, it would be, uh, it would slight the Memphis artists that signed to Gucci Man if they was not included in the All City Tour. You feel me? And again, this All City Tour is based in the state of Tennessee. So again, this All City Tour is based in in the state of Tennessee. Check this out. For the most part, Snoop Bands and Paper Route Woo want nothing to do with the likes of CMG. Based on they believe Yo Gotti had his black youngster heavy camp guys to send Young Dolph up at Makita's. Now, which I heard is going to be opening back up on airways. You understand? We gonna see in a minute. But before we get into it, as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to his family. And much love to all my folks in Dolph Land. Y'all keep y'all head up to all my folks out there in Caste. Alright, back to the story. Now Snoop Bands and Paper Route Woo are not the only ones in disagreement with CEO Daddy O. Now some folks in Caste, that's not cool with the idea as well. They really not interested in anything involving black youngster. Now Kenny Money disagrees as well, based on his beef that he had with Money Bag Yo. And Key Glock beef with Lil Migo. So guys, it's really like CEO Daddy O, what you doing out here? A lot of them are not in alignment with CEO Daddy O as they was with Young Dolph. You understand? Now, a lot of people is even questioning how CEO Daddy O is managing Paper Route without Young Dolph. Now, we know Young Dolph created a well oil machine to where the new, to where he knew when and where to promote and drop artist music. And to do it on a constant cycle to where all Pepper Route artists could showcase their talent and create a fan base to make a name in the rap industry. You feel me? Now, folks are saying CEO Daddy O is doing the opposite of how Young Dolph ran Pepper Route. 
because CEO Daddy O is mostly promoting Key Glock and Big Moochie Grape. You understand? Pepper Rao Wu, he just got back in the game being on a hiatus from a few months to where he deleted his IG and was not posting any music on his YouTube. Now Snoop Bands, he do his thing on his own time. Snoop Bands, he either gonna drop music with features or solo. Big Unk, he heating up out there. Jay Fizzle been on the ramp page doing his thing, putting out music, doing videos and interviews. But for the most part, nothing really from the new artist that Young Dolph signed before his untimely demise. Who am I talking about? Uh, Jotty B from New York, Shatana from Chicago, and Paper Route Brick Wolfpack from H-Town. All right? None of them have really been promoted since Young Dolph has been sent up. You understand? And a lot of guys from their camp, it's a lot of people from each of their camp, they not feeling the moves that CEO Daddy O is making at this time. You understand? They feel like he got his couple artists he going off of and he cool with that. It's almost like building a franchise team. You understand? Like, once they go on a championship rent spree, they win you a couple rings. You understand? Now, you don't care about building up the team and putting out quality work no more. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's just based on the artists that you have and whatever they do is cool with whatever they do. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way Young Dolph had it set up. He had a proper program set up. You know what I'm saying? For every artist to showcase their talent, you understand? And right now, it's only really four or five artists on paper route that's really showcasing their talent, you know what I'm saying, on a huge level. And that's Key Glock, Big Moochie Grape, and we see Jay Fizzle doing his thing because of Big Moochie Grape and Key Glock, you understand? And like I said, a lot of guys, they not in agreement with CEO Daddy O, and most of them come from Caste. They come from Young Dolph Hood. That's the reason why Snoop Bands and Paper Route Wu mostly disagree. Because Snoop Bands, he from Block 19. You understand? He have conversations with guys that's from Cascade every day. You understand? So at the same time, it's not just coming from Snoop Bands or Paper Route Wu. It's some other guys, they like, nah, man. We don't like the moves that Yo Gotti and Black Youngster made after Young Dolph Untimely Demise. You know what I'm saying? Mostly, they speaking on Black Youngster. They really saying that Yo Gotti, he should have calmed down Black Youngster for going out there and doing some extracurricular activities pertaining to Young Dolph being sent up because he made it seem as if he had something to do with it. And not only him, he made it seem like the whole CMG had something to do with it. You understand? That's the reason why it's a lot of people from Dolphland, they don't agree with the movement. Now, it's some people that do agree because they know that can bring the spotlight on Memphis. Because like I said before in other videos, it's a big spotlight on Memphis. You know what I'm saying? We see right now, it's a lot of artists that's either men and women that's being signed right now. Right now, they being presented with a stage to, again, showcase their talent. And that's what they're doing. And that's the reason why the world is able to see the different talents that come out of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Or should I say in Tennessee as a whole? That's the reason why CEO Daddy O and Yo Gotti, along with Yo Gotti brother Big Juk, sat at the table and had a conversation based on a Tennessee All City tour. Again, they was gonna go in mostly every city that will allow them to do shows there. They gonna pull up. You understand? And like I said, along with that, they're gonna bring Gucci Man New Ten Seventeen. So at the same time, this gonna really showcase the talents. That's coming out of Memphis. And that's real talk, man. I agree. I'm not to sit up here and say I disagree because on a huge scale, I can see how that would help out Memphis as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we just talking about the discontent that's going on with PRE and CMG, yeah, that's something that I would not advise. But at the same time, I'm not sitting at the table with Yo Gotti and, and uh, CEO Daddy Yo to make these moves. You feel me? Hey, but as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.